And as we get a look at our local radar now, as we're bringing in Michelle Muscatello with this weather alert, you can already see the green filling in this morning. Remnants of Ida making their way here. Yeah, we've got some light rain falling right now. We're not concerned about flooding rainfall during the day today, but tonight, early tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. Flash flooding is a significant concern with what's left of Ida. So it was once a powerful hurricane. It's still a tropical depression wow. this morning. Let's take a look at the current conditions and this is East Providence. You can see the overcast and gloomy conditions. The temperatures are in the upper 60s and low 70s, right at 70 degrees in Providence. Dew points rising. Our temperatures in Smithfield 65, 69, Newport and 68 in New Bedford. And there's the rain initially again, kind of light scattered showers with an occasional more moderate rainfall possible at times this morning. We'll see scattered showers continuing into the afternoon, but the core of this heavier rainfall that's not going to move in until the overnight hours tonight. So here's Ida this morning as of the 8 a.m. update from the National Hurricanes uh, Center and the Weather Prediction uh, Center. Still a tropical depression, 30 mile an hour sustained winds moving northeast at 24 miles per hour. The path very close to us. Heavy rain going to be the main impact here. Two to five inches of rain. Isolated amounts over six inches possible and the winds along the coastline in particular could see some gusts over 35 miles per hour late tonight and tomorrow morning. We also have a gale watch in effect for the bay and the surf conditions tomorrow. We could see a surf of six to seven feet along our shoreline. But let's talk about the flash flood concern because there's a watch. It means there's the potential for flash flooding that starts at two o'clock this afternoon and goes until two o'clock on Thursday during the daytime today. I don't expect a lot in the way of rainfall, maybe a few tenths of an inch of rain, but watch what happens overnight as the rainfall really starts to um, amp up. We're looking at the possibility of again, some very heavy rainfall through tomorrow morning, two and a half to five inches likely with the possibility of those isolated higher amounts. So going to be a situation where even streets that aren't prone to flooding, basements that maybe not prone to flooding, you could see some flooding if you end up with those six or seven inch totals. And we also have an hour by hour look at those showers moving in. This is two o'clock this afternoon. Notice some of these pockets of heavier rainfall in western New England that occasionally again may sneak in, but the core of the heaviest rain midnight tonight through about seven, eight o'clock tomorrow morning, and then that starts to slide out very quickly. So the second half of the day Thursday will be drying out today. You'll definitely want to make sure you've got the rain gear handy as those showers continue to move through. Temperatures holding pretty steady through the day tonight, falling to the lower 60s. It's a stormy night, not only the rain concern, but the flooding, the windy conditions, low risk, as I mentioned, of an isolated tornado or water spout. We've got winds gusting in the overnight hours from the east and northeast. Now, depending on the exact path of Ida, we may get a couple of uh, hours where we're gusting out of the south along the coastline, and we could see some of those wind gusts in the 40 to 45 mile per hour range with an isolated gust to 50 possible, but more likely staying between 35 and 45 miles per hour. Still, that has the potential to cause some power outages. There's a concern for uh, some scattered outages, especially closer to the coastline in the seven day forecast. So after a stormy morning tomorrow drying out, it'll be cool windows open kind of stretch here heading into Labor Day weekend, lower 70s Friday, Saturday's high near 76 degrees with low humidity. Sunday dry during the day could see some showers Sunday night very early on Labor Day, then clearing out with a high near 80 to finish out the unofficial last weekend of summer.